hi guys welcome to my study compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math p1 variant 3 may june 2021 let's get started measure angle a when we measure the angle we get 146 degrees Write down the mathematical name for this type of angle. 146 degrees is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And so it is an obtuse angle. Points A and B lie in a circle center O. Write down the mathematical name for line AB. AB is a chord. A chord is simply any line that connects any two points on the circumference of a circle. The circle has a diameter of 16.8 cm. Write down the radius of the circle. The radius is half of the diameter. So in this case, the radius is 16.8 cm divided by 2, which is equal to 8.4 centimeters write down the number that is 23 less than negative 1.6 to get this number we simply subtract 23 from negative 1.6 which is equal to negative 24.6 write as a fraction in its simplest form 72 percent when we type 72% into the calculator, we get its simplified fraction, which is 18 over 25. Write as a fraction in its simplest form, 0 0.004. When we type 0 0.004 into the calculator, we get 1 over 250. The diagram shows a pair of parallel lines and a straight line. Complete the statement with the correct geometrical reason. X equals 40 degrees because the angles are blank. The two angles are corresponding. Calculate the mean of these numbers. The mean of the numbers is the sum of the numbers divided by the number of the numbers in the list, which is 8. When we type this into the calculator, we get 26.5. The diagram shows a box in the shape of a cuboid. The box has an open top. On the 1 cm square grid, draw a net of this box. A cuboid with an open top has 5 faces in total. Let's start by drawing the base of the cuboid, which has dimensions. 5 cm by 2 cm. The base would be connected directly to the other four faces on all its sides. At the top and bottom, it will be connected to the faces with dimensions 5 cm by 4 cm. Then on the sides, it will be connected to the faces with dimensions 2 cm by 4 cm. The outside of the box is painted. Work out the total area that is painted. On the grid, we found the surface area of each of the faces. And so the total surface area would be 10 cm squared plus 2 times 20 cm squared plus 2 times 8 cm squared, which is equal to 66 cm squared. Find the value of y. Angles formed around a point add up to 360 degrees. So we have 100 degrees plus y plus y equals 360 degrees. When we group like terms, this is what we have. And when we divide both sides by 2, we have y equals 130 degrees. From the list of numbers, write down a cube number. The cube number in this list is 125. 5 cubed gives us 125. Write down a prime number. 
the prime number in the list is 29 because it only has two factors, one and itself. A equals 3, negative 4. B equals 5, 2. Work out 8B. To get the resulting vector, we multiply each of the elements in vector B by 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 40, 16. Work out A minus B. To get the resulting vector, we subtract the elements in vector B from corresponding elements in vector A. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So we have negative 2, negative 6. Point L has coordinates negative 3, 6. And vector LM is 5, negative 2. Find the coordinates of point M. To get the x coordinate of point M, we add 5 to negative 3, which is 2. And for the y coordinate, we add negative 2 to 6, which is 4. Maria buys N pencils that cost P cents each. She pays with a Y dollar note. Find in terms of N, P, and Y the amount of change Maria receives. Give your answer in cents. The amount of change Maria receives is equal to the amount she pays, which is Y dollars, and we convert it to cents by multiplying Y by 100 minus the amount she spends on the pens, which is N times P. Francesca spins a four-sided spinner numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. The table shows some of the probabilities of landing on each number. Complete the table. Let's represent the probability for landing on 4 with x. The sum of the probabilities in the table must add up to 1. So we have 0.18 plus 0.21 plus 0.37 plus x equals 1. When we make x the subject, we get 0.24. Alex changes 190 euros into pounds when 1 pound equals 1.1723 euros. Calculate the amount Alex receives. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. First, we set up the conversion ratio. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 162.07 pounds rounded to two decimal places. The exterior angle of a regular polygon is 36 degrees. Find how many sides this polygon has. Here is the formula for the exterior angle of a regular polygon. We've been given the exterior angle to be 36 degrees. When we make n the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 10. Expand and simplify. 6 times t minus q minus 2 times t minus 3q. When we expand the brackets, 6 times t is 6t. 6 times negative q is negative 6q. Negative 2 times t is negative 2t. Negative 2 times negative 3q is 6q. So now, negative 6q plus 6q is 0. 6t minus 2t is 4t. Without using a calculator, Work out 1, 2 over 3 divided by 7, 1 over 2. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. For 1, 2 over 3, we have 3 times 1 plus 2, which is 5, divided by 3. Then for 7, 1 over 2, we have... 2 times 7 plus 1, which is 15, divided by 2. So in the next step, we have 
5 over 3. Then we replace the division with multiplication. Then we bring in the reciprocal of 15 over 2, which is 2 over 15. 5 goes into itself once and goes into 15 three times. And so for the numerator, 1 times 2 is 2. And for the denominator, 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 2 over 9. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Find the nth term. We see that the terms are increasing by a constant difference of 4. We can use this formula to find the nth term of sequences with a common difference. A1 is the first term of the sequence, which is 7, and D is the common difference, which is 4. When we expand the brackets, 4 times n is 4n, and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 7 minus 4 is 3, so we have 4n plus 3. Calculate the volume of a cylindrical vase with radius 14.2 cm and height 18 cm. Here is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. The radius R has been given as 14.2 cm and the height H has been given as 18 cm. When we type this into the calculator, we get 11,400 cm cubed, rounded to three significant figures. Change your answer to part A into liters. We know that 1 liter is 1,000 cm cubed, and we want to find the equivalent number of liters for 11,400 cm cubed, which is what we are calling X. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 11.4 liters. Write 0.00074 in standard form. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 7. This gives us 7.4. Since we moved the decimal point 4 units to the right, we multiply 7.4 by 10 raised to the power negative 4. Calculate 4.6 times 10 squared times 6.7 times 10 raised to the power 5. Give your answer in standard form correct to two significant figures. When we type this into the calculator, this is what we have, which is equal to 310 million rounded to two significant figures. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 3. This gives us 3.1. Since we moved the decimal point 8 units to the left, we multiply 3.1 by 10 raised to the power 8. A group of 120 students take two tests, mathematics and English. Here is some information about the number of students who pass mathematics and who pass English. Complete the Venn diagram. We've been told 19 students do not pass mathematics and do not pass English. So we put 19 in the region outside sets M and E. We've been told that 27 students pass both mathematics and English. So we put 27 in the region common to sets M and E. We also know that 61 students passed mathematics. So we get the number of students who passed mathematics only by subtracting 27 from 61, which gives us 34. To get the number of students who passed English only, we subtract the sum of 34, 27, and 19 from the total number of students, which is 120. This gives us 40. Use the Venn diagram to find the number of students who pass English. The number of students in this region is 
27 plus 40, which is equal to 67. Use set notation to describe the shaded region. The region that has been shaded is the region common to set A and set B, which can be described as A intersection B. Find the equation of line L in the form y equals mx plus c. All we need to do is find the values of m and c and plug in these values into y equals mx plus c. To get the value of m, we first need to pick two points on line L. Then we apply the gradient formula to get the gradient of the line. This gives us 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 4, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. To get the value of C, we pick the Y coordinate on the Y axis through which the line passes and that is 2. And so we have Y equals negative 1 over 2X plus 2. Find the equation of the line, which is parallel to the line y equals 3x minus 5 and passes through the point 0, 17. This line has been expressed in the form y equals mx plus c. And so the gradient m of the line is the coefficient of the x term, which is 3. Since the equation of the line we are asked to find is parallel to this line, their gradients would be the same. We've been given the y-intercept of the line, which is 17. And so the equation of the line would be y equals 3x plus 17. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Calculate DF. For similar shapes, the ratio of their corresponding sides is equal. So in this case, we have df divided by 28 centimeters equals 85 centimeters divided by 34 centimeters. When we make df the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 70 centimeters. Simplify 3x cubed times 4x raised to the power 4. This is equal to 3 times 4 times x raised to the power 3 plus 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we have 12x raised to the power 7. The diagram shows a right-angled triangle. Show that the value of x is 36.9 correct to one decimal place. To get the value of x, we apply Sokatwa. This gives us sine x equals 18 centimeters divided by 30 centimeters. When we make x the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, we get 36.869 degrees, which is approximately 36.9 degrees rounded to one decimal place. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.